Hi, in this video we're going to look at the various different ways that you can use to desolder parts off PCBs. It could be an old PCB like this one that we uh, got out of the printer in the last video or it could be your own project or something like that where you're uh, soldering stuff up, you make a mistake and you want to get the part back out. So let's have a look at the various options we have. Now the first option, and I expect a lot of people have seen these, are these little uh, solder suckers. So you have a plunger there, heat up your part and voila. You can also use desoldering braid. Very good stuff. Depends on the quality. Um, this stuff doesn't seem to have quite enough um, flux built into it, so it sometimes just dip it in a bit of flux. And you can use an actual desoldering station as such, and this is the uh, the gun from that. So we'll explore the different options and see how they work. Okay, so for this first method, what we're going to try and do is use the uh, solder sucker. Now I've got seam done on the board. What I'm going to try and do is just remove this part here. Um, remove some of the uh, solder from the uh, pins there. So I've got the soldering iron heated up. So first thing to do is flow a bit of fresh solder on. So I'm just going to flow a little bit of fresh solder on there. So I'm just going to do that for all of the uh, pins of this part. That just helps uh, lower the melting point and make it a lot easier to uh, remove. Now, plunger down, and what we do is we're getting here, we're going to melt this part and then try and get it over. So what you're, you're doing is you're placing it, melting it, placing it over, pushing the button and uh, hoping for the best. And we'll try again on this one. And hopefully you can see there it's taken the solder off very nicely on those uh, pins there. So that's one method using these uh, little hand pumps. Now we'll give it a go with a bit of this uh, desoldering braid. So I can't remember, I think this one doesn't have the best uh, flux in it, so I might dip it in some flux. So with this you're going to sort of heat your component up but also bring the braid in. and then you should find that the braid will wick away the solder. And it's doing a reasonable job actually, this one. This might be a different one that I purchased. And you can see there how that does wick away the solder. You sometimes need to go over multiple times certainly see that this pin here we haven't quite got. And then that leaves us with just this last one here. have a look at that we've more or less I think got all of those pins now the parts still won't come off it is clipped on as well but we've obviously still got some parts that are actually sticking so you can just use a pair of pliers something like that just to wiggle the uh, contacts a little bit just to make sure that they're not still stuck on the edges Obviously a, um, a much finer tip um, needle nose pliers would be better suited to the job so you don't damage the board. But that's just an example case there. And yeah, looking at it, I've just realised uh, that yes, they are part of the, uh, I think they're part of it as well. So let's just uh, get that taken off as well. So again, coming in with a braid. And just letting it wick up 
any of the solder. And there we are. And that's now come off like so. So that is uh, the two sort of common methods really is uh, using your desoldering wick braid and your uh, solder sucker desoldering pump. So the next we'll do is we'll look at actually using a desoldering station and if you've got a lot of things you want to take off um, these are well worth the investment. My one wasn't expensive under a hundred pound it's um, you know sort of Chinese uh, clone one but seems to work fine. Excuse the noise it does have a rather loud fan in it so while I'm waiting for that to heat up we're going to uh, get this uh, capacitor here off this board so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to apply some fresh solder to one of the legs like so and I'm going to leave the other one untouched and that should give us a good indication of how well um, the unit's going to take the uh, solder off on the uh, one we haven't already reflowed fresh solder on. Having said that, it's always good practice to uh, reflow some fresh solder just to make your life a bit easier. So, says we're up to temperature. Um, the model, if anyone's interested, is the ZD-915. So, if we come in with this, this is the one we applied some solder on. And uh, hopefully that was in shot. Might have to do it at a slight angle. And then this is the one that we haven't applied any fresh solder, so straight over. And I think we're out. Yep, lift the board up, gravity's done its job. So that's how easy that was to uh, remove that part using one of these desoldering guns. They are really good, I do actually like them, they just make life a lot easier. Um, even on bigger things where you've got big pads like this, you can sort of get in there and use it as I'll demonstrate to, to just melt the solder and, and suck it up. But you can use it to sort of help with that sort of thing. Now we've got here a little part here, so again, place it on the part, let the solder melt on the trigger. So really what you're dealing with here is, is an electrical sort of electronic version of the um, again that just fell straight out an electronic version of your standard sort of handheld uh, solder sucker quite useful and they do come with different size tips um, so you can cater for different size pins um, like for example the current um, size um, I think I'll really get on the camera very easy current size tip that's on here, um, which it won't focus right, uh, will not fit over that for example, but they do have bigger tips, um, which come with the kit normally so you can uh, swap them around, and uh, yeah it just makes life quite easy and quite quick, you know just very good for whipping parts off nice and quickly, so I prefer this method, um, just because of its pure speed it's just so much quicker when you want to just get something off like that. So there we are, that was a quick look at a few methods of uh, removing parts from boards. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll catch you soon for the next video. Cheers.